I worked incredibly hard to get here. From 6 a.m. practices five days a week for five years, I maybe didn't take the exact same route as every single person on the ice with me wearing the striped shirt, but I worked incredibly hard. So you've got the Bay Street Power suit on, but how do you go from working in finance to working in the NHL as an official? I'll be honest, it's a little bit more taxing on the body, that's for sure. Um, you know, sitting nine to five behind a desk. I remember in a newsletter at RBC, financial planner changed the NHL referee. Everyone was so shocked. But for me, I was doing it on the side and I was, I was pursuing this on the side. I'd work my nine to five and then I'd, I'd boogie right out of there and head to the rink and I'd be in the rink sometimes, you know, working three games a night. It's a lot different from what I used to do, but I'm telling you, it's a, it's a dream come true. The dream as a kid is to be on the ice as a player. How did you come to terms with no longer chasing that dream and chasing the dream of being on the ice as an official? You know, the dream never really changed for me. The dream was to be in the NHL. Just how I was part of the NHL changed for me. Once I realized I wasn't going to make it as, as a player, it was a tough pill to swallow. I had an opportunity to play pro hockey, but you know, I decided that pursuing this officiating career was the best thing to do. I turned down a, a pro contract in the Central Hockey League, and it was tough, it was scary. It was, you know, it was, it was a dream I had for my whole life, but you know, it worked out really good. How do you relate to the black players who are on the ice who we're seeing, you know, being impact players more and more. It's incredible to watch. You see a guy like P.K. Subban, you see Wayne Simmons, you see there's there's more and more every year when people that, that look like me or, or let look like my sons are doing big things and my sons look and they say, hey, if if you know if if Wayne Simmons can do that, I can do that. Or if PK can do that, I can do that. How do you manage the situation of officiating guys that you would have played against coming up in the game when you were younger? Uh, believe it or not, it actually helps my credibility out there on the ice because uh, my age, where my age is, a lot of these guys have been in the league for a long time now. But you look at Rick Nash, you look at Dan Girardi, Eric Stahl is a good example as well. These guys are veteran players. I played against them, played with them, worked out with them at times. My first game in, in New York City, uh, Rick Nash comes up to me and we're talking in between the first TV timeout and the uh, the veteran linesman's like, how do you know Rick Nash? Like, it's not, you know, so, so it kind of, you know, the pl other players see Rick talking to me and see that we, we uh, and you know, how do you know that guy? Oh, we used to play together and then right there, instant credibility. As a player, there's a feeling of euphoria after you win. Is there an equivalent for an official? It's the exact same thing. Every single guy in our staff is working to, to make the playoffs and every single guy in our staff wants to do the Stanley Cup. The dream didn't change. I was, I've been chasing the Stanley Cup since I was seven years old, and now I'm chasing it just in a different way. What's the routine as far as staying healthy so that you can perform at a high level? I can't speak for all the guys. For myself, I, I train hard. I make sure my body is, is ready to go physically every day because the fans do not care if you're hurt. That's for sure. Players and coaches don't care if you're hurt. They want you to perform at the top of your game every single night. Emotions are what now? Original six matchup, hockey night in Canada. How do you feel right before you take the ice? You know, it's, it's important to, for us to kind of keep our emotions in check. Growing up, you, you always see this matchup on TV, but it, you know, it, it's time to go to work right now for me. So for emotions are in check right now, starting to get really focused for the game. It's hockey night in Canada from the Air Canada Centre. Always exciting when two original six teams get together. Here's a scrap at center ice. Don't see many scraps at all anymore, especially from guys like this. I continue to work incredibly hard to stay here and to, to reach my goal as uh, and work in the Stanley Cup final.